possible source of compost. <laughs> Maximizing throttle on all five. Scorched to the ferals don't get you, the rads will. Damn, no calves. Looks like there's almost two hundred dollars in here, though. I guess it'll make good kindling. Seer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. While you're here, why not grab a stem back or two? Sure is great to see living human beings again.
survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. I bet this town was really nice before the war. Are you here for the responder training? Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? I keep hearing about it. I've even met some people who say they came from there. And honestly, I believe them. It's so interesting. People living underground for years, and then the doors open, and suddenly there's this whole new world to explore. So, did I guess right? I knew it! I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing, with the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe, which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. Go right ahead. Me? There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed up at Foundation for a while. It was nice, but eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responders, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. It's a community of settlers up in the mountains to the east. It's a nice enough place, I guess. That being said, it's a hell of a dangerous trip trying to get there. I barely made it out of the mountains alive. If I were you, I'd keep to the forest until you're ready to deal with some seriously nasty stuff. He's the closest Foundation has to a leader, I guess. I never got to know him real well, but he always seemed like a decent guy. Honest, reliable, cares about the people, that kind of stuff. Okay, what is it? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting. At least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal robots. But you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. No problem.
old to document our stories for posterity, you know. Well, it seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science.
Make yourself at home. I did. church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, Fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But till then, let's share a home-cooked meal together, all right?